So what we're going to be taping for today, uh, if we're looking at it orthopedically, it can be for a glenoid labral tear, or if we're looking at it neurologically, it can be for inferior subluxation after a stroke or CVA. So one of the easiest tests for a glenoid labral tear orthopedically is an O'Brien's test. So in this case, we're going to take him up and we're going to internally rotate his humerus and take him across. Now if the labrum's torn, he's not going to be able to withstand this pressure. So I'm going to come in and he can't hold that. So from here, what I'm going to have him do is, you can go ahead and let his arm drop down. If it's a, after a stroke, he's not going to be able to relocate. So you're going to have to use an assistant to help. So an assistant's going to come in and stabilize the scapula and push up on the humerus. And our goal with this is to relocate the humerus back into the glenoid and then we're going to tape it into place. Now with him being orthopedically involved, he's going to be able to self-relocate by just weight bearing through the arm. So he's going to put his hand on the table, he's going to put his weight down through there. So again, that's relocating the humeral head up. I've taken a measure to round his deltoid. I'm going to take this, I'm going to tear it in the center. That center I'm going to open up, I'm going to apply just a little bit of stretch to restore what was lost when I took the backing off. And that's going over his AC joint. From there, I'm just taking paper off tension around the humeral head, kind of working through the anterior and posterior heads of the deltoid. But again, it's the fascia and neurological conditions that we are affecting with this. So it ends up kind of looking like a horseshoe through there. And again, as that recoils back up, it's going to keep his humeral head in place. So now when we have him go up into O'Brien's test, he's going to be able to hold because the rotator cuff is going to be able to function because it's not having to stabilize him because essentially the labrum is intact again.